Hey everyone, my name is Adishan Azagasar, and today is the... Mm, what video was it? Third one? Yeah, I think it's the fourth. Is it? It's the fourth video in the RWA series. Sorry about that, my producer, uh, he's kind of lazy. Well, how about the human body? Seems good, right? Well, let's do it. We've already done three systems, so we'll go with the skeletal system. This system is needed for you to live. Without it, I can show you what happens without it if I remove the spinal column. But trust me, you won't like it. Should I do it? Okay. Yep. That's what happens when you remove your bones from your body. Not that good, is it? Either way, we'll go over a definition of all of this. Up here is the skull, which is basically your head. Down there is your mandible, basically the very bone that allows you to chew and talk. And whenever you move your mouth up and down, keep in mind that it's only the mandible that moves, or only the lower part. Sheesh, talk about a bad fact. Over there is the clavicle, which is right there. Oh yeah, and my pointer is now a sword. Yeah. Fun. So, this is the clavicle, your collarbone. Here are your ribs. They, pr they uh, protect your heart and lungs. They can even be used for protecting your stomach. Here's your humerus, aka your arm bone, the one at the top. It's thick and ready to move. Here is your spine. It's that one bone that you should never get removed, otherwise every other bone in your body becomes unstable, as every other bone in your body is literally based around it. Let's remove that. Here is your ulna, the one that's closest to your spine. The one that's farther away is your radius. Closer, farther. See? Simple. Now since you can't see the phalanges clearly, I'll show you. The phalanges are mm, your finger bones to be simple here's your pelvis aka your butt bones uh, and if you're in gen alpha I don't want to say this please don't demonetize me for this YouTube it's basically your gut bone I don't want to say this I don't want to say that definitely not ever here is your femur, thickest, longest, and strongest bone in your body. You could be asking, why isn't the spine the, thick the thickest bone, the longest bone in the body? That's, be that's because there are 206 bones. You haven't counted that, right? Sorry that the definition says nervous system. Wrong. There are 206 bones in the body, and the spine is made up of a ton of them. Actually, they are. Down there are your tarsal bones. Basically, ankle. Basically, back of your foot bones. In the middle are the metatarsal bones, and in the front are the phalanges. Yes, it's the same definition for both feet and hands. Keep that in mind. Over here is the tibia, the th 
thick bone. And I mean thick with two C's. And over here is the fibula. Oh yeah, and I may have gotten the definition of gyat wrong, so do not comment about this. Do not! You may think that bones are dead, but they aren't. They're filled with bone marrow, constantly generating red blood cells that deliver oxygen around your body. Pretty cool, huh? Here is something called a joint. Condyloid joint, gliding joint, saddle joint, and hinge joint. Hinge joints work like a hinge, of course. It's a hinge, hinge joint. A condyloid joint is basically a silent joint that doesn't move at all. Here's a saddle joint. What makes your thumb move from your wrist? It's that, a saddle joint. What makes your wrist move? A gliding joint. Your wrist bones just straight up glide. They actually do. Anyways, going back, let's check out the last one. A ball and socket joint. One of these is basically equivalent to, uh, how do you say this? A Lego robot joint. Have you ever seen that Death Egg Robot Lego model? Yeah, it uses ball and socket joints. Ball, socket. Easy to understand, easy to name. That's all for the human body for this RWA sesh. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.